Jade Labo G1 is still on Kickstarter. And for this occasion, I have an interview with Jade. Get on the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you are new here and not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. For this video, I have Jade from Jade Labo here for this uh, video. And uh, we are going to have a little conversation about the product, the G1, the IDEX 3D printer that currently is on Kickstarter. So here's Jade from uh, Jade Labo. Hello, this is Jay from Jay Lovell, and I'm very exciting and happy to join Zachary in this video. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm in our office, so you can see uh, the machine uh, hey. next to me is the Jay Lovell J1. This is the product that we have been working on for the past year. and. We did put a lot of efforts in this product development and now we are very happy and this is finally available on Kickstarter now. And we have received quite good response for the for those um past twenty two days. Yeah, it has been live on Kickstarter for about twenty two days. There are about twenty days left for the campaign. So we'll see what we will do for the next. How did you came to the uh, to the idea to make a enclosed IDEX 3D printer? What was the reason behind it, and how did it establish? Oh uh, yes, um, the for J Double J One we offer two models: the enclosed model and mm -hmm. also the open model. As we see, if we search online, then you will find that there are some IDEX printers available on the market but for those enclosed one the very uh, complete premium one that will cost around three thousand US dollar um, and it seems that they are made for the professionals or the small business only because for three thousand US dollar it's quite expensive for individuals to afford and so mm -hmm. we want to make the better version and also then that will cost around 1000 US dollar and for the enclosed version with the enclosed version the users can print high temperature materials that's the uh, very uh, unique and advantage benefits from that version and if, if users just print with the regular materials they can choose the open model which will cost less. Okay, yeah. so if I understand it correctly, this is also for the normal yeah, consumer. Sure. This Fair one enough. is built for everyday makers, as I <laughs> put this line in our campaign. Um, we set out to build a 3D printer, a desktop mm -hmm. 3D printer for uh, consumers, both uh, beginners, 3D printing beginners, as well as experienced users, because um, we try to make this printer, this IDAS printer, the most easy to use IDAS 3D printer. And so for beginners, they can also start uh, 3D printing, get started with 3D printing using this model as well. And for experienced so users, you... since IDAS allows a lot of features. Yeah. So you're saying that this IDAS 3D printer can also be used for a starter? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, because... why not? <laughs> no, but that's mm, awesome. Yeah, so um, Zachary, you, you, you can think about that. What's the most important thing for those beginners? I think they they have the quite similar demand as those experienced users if they use 3D printer as their daily tool for their creative projects, right? Mm -hmm. um, they need uh, they need an easy to use machine first, a reliable tool, right? Yeah. So, 
as long as we build this printer to be a easy to use one, also a reliable one, then it's suitable for beginners as well. Because it's two, it has two print heads. It can do all the things that one print head can do. In addition, it can do more with the Astro print heads. IDEX 3D printer, you can print different kind of materials within the same print without using different kind of filaments in one nozzle because you have also multi-material or multi-color and then the temperature of the nozzle needs to be changed. But with an IDEX 3D printer, you can print, for example, uh, PLA together with, with soluble materials or with ABS or some other materials that you want to use. And I'm very happy to see that something like this is, is possible within the price. Yeah, so you're right. So for the experienced users, they are not, they don't want to be limited to the single material printing. Um, mm -hmm. Or sometimes they need to print some complex geometries or some parts with a beautifully surface finish. However, for some models, they need to print the supports. When they re remove the supports, the surface finish might not be fine yeah. if they are using the single extruder one. Or sometimes even they might break the model, the main parts, if they don't remove the supports properly. And also the process will be quite painful, as I remember. With the two independent do extruders, then the support removal will be much easier because it can support the PVA, uh, the water soluble material printing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. then they can print the objects with the support and they can only just print the support interface using the water soluble material. So they can save the PVA material as well at the same time because the PVA, some some of, some of users might worry about that the PVA is a little bit expensive, so they don't want to use a lot of them. So they can just use for the support interface only. Yeah, yeah. that would be quite, quite, uh, yeah. Few users can take advantage of this support move a lot, I think. I, I think uh, the, the, the concept behind the uh, DJ Labo G1 is, is very nice. It's very unique too. Um, as I saw also on the Kickstarter campaign that you make it so easy to use an IDEX 3D printer that you don't have to think about bad, bad leveling, you know, that, that you can adjust the height of one of the two. It's, yeah. it's, very, the, it's very nice, thought of. Yes, the, the calibration, we, there are quite a lot of uh, new and unique methods that we use for the calibration solution. Because um, especially for those experienced users, they might know that the IDAS 3D printers, other IDAS 3D printers on the market, mm -hmm. they are quite difficult to calibrate. As we show a video in our campaign page, we have made a comparison uh, with the conventional IDEX 3D printer and our j Level J1, the calibration process is different and ours will make the process much easier because um, it's semi-auto one, uh, unlike those traditional ones. The traditional IDEX usually require a lot of manual work. They need to print a few lines and then manually choose the best one. So it requires a lot of experience to calibrate well. Um, okay. But for us, we want to make the process easier. So we use another method and a new method, I think, uh, because we didn't see this in other machines before, um, but it works very well in our printer uh, in previous tests so that the machine will throw the badge and then um, it will tell the users, the touch screen will tell the users exactly uh, how much they need to turn the knob to cal calibrate 
the both the platform and also to turn there is a knob on the print head as well to fine tune the nozzle height because for this detail there are quite a lot of experienced users in our Facebook group that they told us that they love this uh, the nozzle height calibration not a lot because it makes the nozzle height calibration much easier because in the past they might need to use a screwdriver to turn to detach that one from the print head and yeah need a lot of tools to complete the nozzle height calibration that would be tedious or complicated and also mm -hmm. not that accurate but with our printer they can just turn the knob on the nozzle on the hot end to turn to adjust the nozzle height very easily and also the touch screen on the machine will tell the users the value the exact value they should turn so things can be measurable and more accurate in this way I believe that because when, when I was making the video about the uh, J label G1, I I saw many of the features that yeah for the things that I saw in uh, many of the 3D printers that this Idex 3D printer is more on the top, you know, uh, being able to use the screen as you said to make the fine adjustments to make sure that when you are going to start with the printer that. Uh, you don't have to figure it out again how it works we actually use the cry um we use we we choose the top of line hardware for this printer it um as you can see from our campaign page as well the the specs uh then you'll find that those hardware that we use for this printer are top of line and it allows us to develop a lot of smart features in this printer to make it easy to use. This is the uh, Kickstarter campaign page from uh, the J Labo G1. And uh, as you can see, there are many features covered on on this uh, on this page. And you can also see that I also backed this Kickstarter campaign. I need to say that the, the part with, uh, with, with the cat next to the IDEX 3D printer that is something that I would never think of doing that. I don't have a cat, I don't have a dog here running around, but you know, having the idea that so something like a cat can knock over your print and you have a found a solution for this, right? Can you tell me something about it? Yeah, um, because sometimes if there's, um, if the cat have put one print from your duplication printing or mirror printing, then mm -hmm. you don't need to worry about that you will lose both prints because of this accident. There is an avoid losing both mode. It's a smart feature in j J1 that can avoid uh, losing both prints. And because for in this situation, it will stop the failed one and continue to printing the good prints. Oh. You can check it out. Oh, it's here. Avoid losing both mode. Because for IDES 3D printer, the duplication printing and mirror printing is uh, an ad advantage, uh, advanced printing in IDES printers. But not all IDES printers have this smart feature. This is why uh, even advanced smart feature yeah so, because uh usually what happens if you start a print i don't idex uh, i don't have an idex 3d printer here so uh when you lose your print you lost it but in this kind of way you don't have a spaghetti on one end and a nice print on the other one you can see if it happens you can just stop one side and the other side can still keep continuing. Yes. There is always need to be an interaction with your printer if that happens. Or are you planning to have something like a spaghetti detector feature in there as well? For the camera that you use for the remote monitor, this is in our plan for making the add-on to this printer. Yeah, so it will be a camera module 
as a future add-on. <laughs> it's not uh, included in the standard version that we okay. are providing in the test data now because for that module, we still need more time to further develop. So we don't want to rush to the development and just say, hi, we also have the remote uh, controlling camera, uh, just mm -hmm. so show that demo. We, we think that we will take more time to develop that one well, and then we will offer that one as a future add-on. And this is also a very popular add-on in our community, I think, because some users in the Facebook group, they have uh, created a pool to talk about uh, which add-on that they would like to get in the future. And the camera module is definitely the most popular one. Yeah, I can imagine because I see a lot of uh, manufacturers adding a camera or camera module to, to their uh, existing 3D printer to, you know, be able to remotely monitor your printer during the prints so yeah so you you listening quite a lot to to feedback from the, the users on the facebook group because we think that they also help us a lot indeed and currently we cannot offer that module um but we made this one compatible with auto print so for those experienced users they can use auto print uh, on connected to this machine and also from the community other feedback that they are very valuable to the development to this product for example that some oh, as i remember in about february and there is david uh, a user named david uh, he has suggested that using a silicon plate sheet for blocking the nozzle when the nozzle is parking aside during oh, yeah. the multi-material printing. This suggestion we also have taken into consideration. That's very great. It's not in the page now. I just, but but you can see it here. Yeah. You you mean the little white piece? Can, white? That can block the nozzle for, to prevent from oozing, the filament yeah. oozing. Uh, that would be very, this solution is quite effective compared to those, uh, as you can see from other IDEX 3D printers that they use kind of brushes, the metal yeah. brushes to clean the nozzle. But as we talk to some users in our early development time, they, and also to, according to our experience using other IDEX 3D printers, the brushes will gradually because they are the uh, metal wires like this and they will gradually become like this and their performance will be this kind of yeah they cannot we'll perform less, well yeah. after a while yeah so for this one we in our test we find that it will be more effective to blocking the nozzle from oozing and there are a, a lot of other good suggestions from the community. Yeah, we just found that we got a lot of inspiration from the discussion with those early followers. Even though that at this time, they don't have J Level J1 at their hand. In early times, we try to attract a lot of experienced users in the group and they can uh, generate some really helpful and deep discussion into some feature developments which will be very helpful to us. Mm -hmm. And we all, they also found that it's good, I, I think, in their, why this kind of interaction. Yeah, I think interaction with uh, users or future users of the, of the machine, that we would help quite a lot. And you get some awesome products that are going to be released on the market, where also users that never saw your product, but are going to buy it, definitely great user experience and that is yeah. established by listening to uh, what experienced users or users want to see in something like this machine so i think it's pretty, pretty nice job our goal is one we want to make a desktop 3d printer that will be easy to use reliable for everyday makers right so mm -hmm. we are very happy that 
their uh, experienced users joining our community and communicate with us directly so that we would know that what's their real demands in their daily uh, printing. Yeah, so even though that um, we have been using 3D printers ourselves for many years, we have the, we have experience, but it will always good to collect more feedback and communicate with more experienced users there. Why not talk to them directly? Yeah. and see what we can do more to make a better 3D printer. It's a great product. I, I need to say that uh, some of the things that I saw on the uh, Kickstarter campaign, something also like the integrated LCD touchscreen on the bottom plate. You're not wasting too much material, but just integrate it in, into the uh, bottom panel where you can uh -huh. use it really nicely. Yeah. And also the touchscreen placement is also a very popular topic recently in our community, actually. In our original design, we want to make it as simple as possible um, because putting it in the bottom plate of the machine it will keep it in an aesthetic appearance very mm -hmm. follow the simplicity uh, design principle um yeah but that we we have heard that some use not so, quite a lot of users that they want to have the touch screen putting outside of the enclosure because they worry about uh, the operations during the printing. They, they might oh. need to adjust the settings on the touch screen. They worry about the temperature change. But we have tested before that should not be a problem. But anyway, we are listening to the community as well. So uh, our engineers are also trying to find a better way. Uh, if I understand it correctly, in the future, machines that are going to be in uh, resale, this concept is going to be cancelled and changed for something outside of the enclosure? We are still discussing uh, this feature now, so not have, have not yet come to the final decision. So you can see from the... I, I should have mentioned that in our latest update, on Kickstarter. So there is an update section. So I have mentioned it in the third in the third update. We have created a poll in the group and also talked to the users yeah frequently recently about the touch screen position. So we are still working on the improvements on this part have not yet come to the final decision yet. So well, yeah, it's um, it's uh, conclusive where people want to have the screen. So since we, we choose to launch our project, I mean, at the time that we start the pilot production so that we could still have the time to listen as well as to discuss with those real users from the printing mm -hmm. community then we can review our original design in this stage. So unlike some other 3D printers projects on Kickstarter before, um, there are some projects that might be able to deliver in two months. For those projects, actually the manufacturer, the company, they have produced a very mature product and also it means that it is not able to change anything even though that the users might say that it's not good for their daily use sector but they cannot change it's the everything is final um for our printer since we launch at this time and we are going to run the pilot production in about one month after the campaign ends so we could still seize the time to work very hard to see what well, anything else we could improve to make it better. Yeah, but but we also need to yeah to <laughs> to to how to say that 
okay, forget about it. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Um, so, um, also to close the, this this interview a little bit, the delivery time and the prices. Can you tell me something about it at current stage, for example? Oh, delivery time, the schedule, right? Yeah, because I see that that uh, for the ones that I back, that the delivery time is uh, expected in December of 2021. Oh yes, uh, oh, you 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 back you back uh, on the launch day, I believe. Yeah, you can yeah. scroll down to the bottom of this campaign page. There is a delivery schedule. So also uh, here 30 35 uh, percent off. Uh, when you yeah, are it's going the, to buy it on Kickstarter? This one for Kickstarter only. Mm -hmm. And we have listed the accessories that they will get in the standard package. Yeah. So uh, in this image, you'll find that there are four nozzles as spare parts. Yeah. Four nozzles so, to. So basically, basically for each side, you have. Uh, Two uh, spare nozzles and uh, one heater, uh, heater block, uh, silicon sock, and also yeah. silicon pads. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so just the tools yeah. that will make the first use, and also the regular daily maintenance very easy. <laughs> yeah, and then you see the specs and. Yeah, the specs of the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, temperatures of the each nozzle is up to uh, 300 uh, degrees Celsius. So you can yeah. print higher temperatures, so that is very nice. And so then you is, see the delivery schedule. This is the schedule. And for the early bird, the early bird batch that will be delivered in December this year. And for other rewards that will be delivered in January next year. So generally it's about half a year after the campaign ends because the campaign will end in June mm -hmm. and we will receive the funds about two weeks after the campaign ends. And after that, when we receive the funds, we will we are able to start the higher production very soon yeah i see that i don't have and the early bird can... I was oh you don't have the early bird no I, I it seems not to but i you, you... when i saw that it was live um i wanted um. to uh, to to back it and then i noticed that uh, the most popular ones are already away so oh well no problem it's a very <laughs> popular product i guess <laughs> At this moment, okay. and at this moment, currently the the open version uh, is for seven hundred seventy nine US dollars. Also, the enclosed version for eight hundred forty nine. There are still uh, plenty plenty left. I say it, it's still ten left. Uh, here for this one, the enclosed version, uh, there are one hundred and two pieces left at this moment, and. That, uh, that is all. Yeah, because we have um, we have made a schedule for the monthly delivery unit. So we set the quantity for the, uh, ah. how do you say, to meet our maximum production uh, capability. <laughs> but if uh, there are a lot of people back the enclosed the model, so we have leave more uh, the production capability will arrange more for the enclosed model. Yeah, because uh, if you want to print different kind of materials with uh, higher uh, temperature sensitive material, uh, like ABS or nylon or some other materials, I think a enclosed uh, IDEX is a very uh, helping in that direction. Just to close up, this, uh, this Kickstarter campaign already 500 uh, 53 uh, backers 20 days ago and there are still plenty left to back this kickstarter campaign and i will put the link in the description of this 
video. Any final words, Jade, on this uh, IDEX 3D printer and Kickstarter? Should I show you some prints that we made recently? <laughs> I I think that would that would <laughs> also be very nice. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Just, uh, but yeah, just to make sure that the camera would be stable because oh it's using the front view oh, let me see. oh this one can you recognize the clock spring uh torture test um, toaster yes and it's printing using the mirror mode so when we print we put it like this you, you see that the whole printing process in the update three on our Kickstarter campaign page. And also there actually one backer asked us to print this task print to demonstrate the capability of this printer. So we did it. Uh, it came out quite nice. Um, yeah, you can see the, the whole printing process there. Oh, I cannot use because when I'm holding the camera, <laughs> my my phone, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Just wait a minute. So you can see the colors because this, this print is quite fun to play with. And then yeah, I still I still need to uh, to print them as well. But yeah, you can try this. It's very fun. <laughs> so we we have put in this one but for the zero it cannot pull up <laughs> so so it's a quite nice print. and some others this line this, it's looking great yeah it's printing using the multi-material mode and this one we also print using the mirror mode so you you find that the the mirror printing actually can be quite useful right it can cut the printing time in half and also do you remember the swing pedal that we show in the campaign video the swing pedal is printing using the um, tpu so tpu is also doing great on the machine yeah sure we we have put actually in our first prototype the print head is is Golden tech, and then we choose direct drive because it works much better with the TPU printing. And we think that TPU printing is quite useful. And also, we use the dual drive setup, and it will make the filament control better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe. <laughs> Awesome. It's looking Great. all nice. And, and also this one is very useful. Oh, but I just found the camera angle is not there. The, the smooth box. So I know that makers would bring the tools like this. Um, with the duplication printing, they can make this much faster, yeah. right? Yeah. So actually, IDAS printing will help us to make a lot of practical objects very easily, also with a faster time. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to lay my hands on uh, one of the machines in the near future, in uh, January. So if you want to uh, support this, uh, this project on Kickstarter, then check the link in the description. So, Jade, thank you for having here. To wrap up this video, as you can see, this Kickstarter campaign is a very nice Kickstarter campaign. And I think that this machine looks very promising. And with the possibilities that this machine has, I think this is a very nice consumer product that you can also use. Well, check out the Kickstarter campaign from the Jade Labo G1 and back this Kickstarter campaign. Link is in the description of this video.
This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lion Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixum Dude. Thank you for your awesome support guys. If you want to support this YouTube channel as well, check the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And also check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D Prince. Bye-bye.